In this series, I will be looking into the MEV in full stack here, where I'll be creating a to-do application as mentioned here. I'm going to divide it up into two, well, I have to, uh, and one of them will be backend and frontend. I am going to start with the backend first, uh, where I'll be setting up everything with the, uh, the models and the routes in here. I'm going to be using Mongoose. I'm going to be used as for the schema. I'm going to be using Mongoose as my database where I'll set up all my routes. I'm using Cores and Postman to make sure everything works as well, of course. And again, I'm just going to do a, I want to say standard CRUD here, where we'll have everything set up correctly so we can do create, we can read, we can update, and we can delete uh, our to-dos. So what I have here is my Visual Studio code. I am right now, currently I just created a library, as you can see, Mevin, Mev, I don't know how to say this, uh, and my YouTube. So this is just the folder I created. And in here, I'm going to create two different folders. The first one will be my backend, which I will be starting with. So in here, I'm going to initialize node, but first I need to navigate into it. So right now I'm in my terminal, I'm in my, my parent folder here. So I need to navigate to the backend folder to make sure that I'm in here and I can now see this here. In here, I'm going to do, not node, npm init, Oopsie daisy. And start this up. This will, yes, there we go. This will create our package, um, our node package file, which will contain all our dependencies and everything we're using and setups and so on. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an npm install. I want to have express to attach to this. I want to have body parser to it. I want to use mongoose as mentioned. And I want to use cores and I want to save this to the project with this function here. So if you wrote this correctly, uh, you should see it start installing this. And again, I will just make sure to do this once this is done installing. Uh, I forgot to do this just to make sure if you have node, you can do node two dashes version like so. And what I'm using for view, if you are curious, is I'm using the 5.0, which is at this current time just released almost. So. I'm in the 5.0, this version here. But anyways, we now have our node modules. We have our package.json, uh, and we're also going to install, whoops, uh, whoops, I can't spell correctly here, node mon for this one. So these are the things I'm going to um, install for the first few things. Now I'm gonna open up my package.json here, and and in my script, if I just expand here, it's not here. Up here, I'm going to attach a new line. So when I just write start, that's what I, oops, there we go. Uh, it, I didn't do it incorrectly. Uh, it's going to fire a specific command. So I'm gonna, I want it to fire node mon app js, oops, app js. Did I spell this correctly? I did. So I haven't created this file yet, but I will. Um, but this is what basically what I'm telling the system to do whenever you start up, look for this file and run it. So if you're familiar with Vue or Angular, you do a npm run serve or I can't remember the Angular one right now, uh, but it's similar to this one. So I'm gonna save this and down here, let's just try to do a quick ls to make sure everything is there. So let's do node start and I have an issue. Which is because I spelled it incorrectly. So let's do npm start instead. That is probably a little bit smarter which as you can see still gives me an error, which is okay because we're trying to make a file start that doesn't exist yet. So let's just stop this, but this is just for showing or testing that at least this one part, this is what I wanted to test. So we have this set up now. I'm gonna minimize this a little bit down here. And in my backend part, I am going to create a file. So I'm just gonna click this to make sure I'm in the root level. I'm gonna do an app.js. And in this file here, I'm going to create all the things I need for my system. So in the next video, I'm going to start uh, populating with the different code I need to set everything up. So see you in the next video.